Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Cancer, you guys have Skunk Spirit, Know Your Worth, the number 54. Very interesting, Cancer. I'm gonna say that you have the ship and the ring. Some sort of commitment is coming your way. Some sort of relationship could be, you have the Ace of Wands. It could be a commitment that you put on yourself. Like, you know, I want to, commit to traveling the world the ship can mean travel but i honestly am getting it can be like an actual commitment from a person because know your worth is here and know your worth you know we always hear that but do we actually like use it <laughs> especially in terms of love um i know like especially with you guys cancer i hate to say it like that but you know don't compromise that's what i'm getting like don't compromise know what you want and if someone can offer it for you and make them work for you. You know what I mean? Like don't just, don't give people like everything right away. Like let people work for you. That's why I'm getting here with know your worth. It's like, why shouldn't someone have to work for you? Do you know what I'm saying? Why, sh why shouldn't you? Why, why shouldn't someone have to work to be with you? Why shouldn't someone ha want to put in work to be with you? Do you know what I'm saying? You have a lot to offer. You have a lot that you bring to the table. And just remember that for whatever is coming up in the read. But that's why I'm getting like my main message is like, don't compromise and like make somebody work. Like why, why, why wouldn't, why wouldn't not make somebody work, but why wouldn't somebody want to work for you? Do you know what I'm saying? Let's pull more. Okay, Cancer. So, I'm getting here that to like be careful about somebody coming in. Um, if this is you, if this is resonating with you, I feel like there's somebody here that the thing is like they're coming up as three kings. They're come and the emperor. So they're coming up as the king of pentacles. They're coming up as the king of swords, and they're coming up as the king of wands. So they could have Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fire, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then Emperor's um, Aries energy. I'm getting though with this person that they I don't think that they're in a relationship because they're coming up as the King of Swords. And the Queen of Wands is in reverse with the Magician in reverse. So I don't think that they're going to lie to you because this card is coming up. Like they're coming up upright. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if they were coming up in reverse, then they'd be a liar. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not going to come up and they're not lying about their situation. I think they could, they are most likely single. They are single. But there is something here with the Ace of Swords going on about like the way that they speak to you. So this is someone who I feel like is the Nesadio, you know, not the whole truth. Or like, they have a lot more to say about their story, but they don't want to say it. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like part of the story that they don't want to tell you is maybe about this Queen of Wands. And I honestly feel like the Queen of Wands is like vital information. I feel like the Queen of Wands is like, you know, you want to you want to know if if you want to know if this person's been dating someone, and you ask them point blank, have you been dating somebody? I honestly feel like they could even lie about it, to be honest. They could say like, no, I haven't been, but they have been. Do you know what I'm saying? But they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about this. For some reason, like they don't want to talk about this. Like, this is something they don't want to talk about. And like, I think you're going to have to, you're going to force them to talk about it. Cause I feel like here with the knowledge, you know that they're like, they're full of shit. So it's kind of like, this reading is reminding me of somebody who like, you've been kind of keeping an eye on them. You've seen that they've been dating somebody else. You've seen that they've been like, probably with somebody else. They might come out of the blue, you know what I mean, towards you. 
with like really passionate energy and I think you want to know where this person's been. I think you want to know like what's up with this person. I think like just having a conversation with this person, I think it's not because you're being nosy. I think you just, you're curious about this person and where they've been. And I think the reality is that this person has been dating somebody, but there's something like so big about like them wanting to cover up where they've been. So I don't know if it's like them being ashamed. I am getting again, like they're coming up as an emperor. So they're not coming up, you know, in bad energy, but there has been some sort of courtship that they are lying about or some some like it's like maybe they dated your friend or something i really don't know why they don't want to talk about it but they really don't want to talk about it like they just really want to avoid that that topic guys like that's why i'm getting with this read like you're gonna they're coming in single i think they're gonna surprise you i think you might not even know they're coming in I think you've been, you've been probably keeping an eye on this person, but you don't know like they're coming in. This person comes in and again, I feel like it, it could be a surprise with the faith in reverse and the body and mind in reverse. Like, I don't think that you've ever, like, I don't think you've, you're expecting this person like in any type of way. Why is the faith in reverse? No, why is the six of swords in reverse? Okay, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I'm like, you've been keeping tabs on this person. Like 100%, you've been keeping tabs on them. You have not been talking to them, but you've been keeping tabs on them. So you know, okay, so it's kind of get you into some sort of funky energy because like, you're the one spying on them, right? You're the one that knows like where they've been. You know that they've been dating somebody else or that they just broke up with somebody or like whatever. And if they don't tell you that, like you kind of want to know are they still with this person and they don't know that you've been like spying on them. <laughs> So I think it's going to be hard for you to like say like, oh yeah, I've been spying on you. I've been keeping an eye on you, right? Like nobody, nobody wants to say that. So I think that's another issue in this read. Like a lot about how like you've been keeping an eye on them and like you've been spying on them and you, you know that they, what they've been up to and now you want to know the truth and then they're not really saying it. Do you know what I'm saying? So that kind of makes them look suspicious. I want to see what this person's intentions are. There could be a reason they don't want to talk about it. You know what I mean? But I mean, right off the bat, like, why would you want to start lying at the beginning of a relationship? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think they consider it a lie. I think they just consider, like, withholding this information is better for them and they're just not going to do it. But I don't like that mentality. So let's see what it is. Like, I, I do see them saying the truth here, but... Like, why don't, why, let's see a little bit about this Queen of Wands. With the Magician in Reverse and the Queen of Wands, it's going to be a very manipulative person. Yeah, see, the Four of Wands. Like, they, they've gotten out of this commitment, but this person kept them confused for a really long time. And I feel like that's something that they feel, like, maybe ashamed about or, like, embarrassed about. Like, they just don't want to talk about it. They put in a lot of work with somebody who was, like, highly manipulative. That's what I'm getting. Like, things did not work out with this person. I think that you might have to be a little bit sensitive about what where they've been. Because even though you've been spying on this person and you know a lot about, like, what's been going on, you don't know to the full extent about, like, what this person has been through. And what I'm getting is, like, this person has been through a lot with this person. Like, not good shit, like, bad shit. Um, this person, I feel, manipulated them a lot and made them feel... I don't know what types of manipulation they use, but I really don't like these two cards together. And then with the Seven of Cups, it kind of just makes me feel like even more confusion. Like this person has just been so confused and my throat is hurting. Yeah, I'm gathering like this person just really confused them. And they're just so embarrassed. Like I feel embarrassment. They don't want to talk about it. They want to move towards new energy and they feel like that to you. But you've been spying on them and you know about this. Be careful how you handle this, Cancer. Because like... Yeah, I feel like you don't want to seem like a, you know, a stalker because you know their business to a certain extent. They're coming in and they want to talk to you. They want to maybe, you know, they want to start something new in their life. Also, I feel like we know your worth. It's like, do you really want somebody who, like, just got out of a relationship? Like, I maybe this person needs, like, time to heal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for some of you, I feel like you you knew this person before, and you felt like this person chose this karmic like this karmic. She could this person could have been a karmic with the Queen of Wands in reverse. This person chose wrong, you know, like they chose the karmic with the Lovers in reverse and the Ace of Wands, and like with Faith in reverse, this could have put you in a really bad energy. So you've probably always kept an eye on this person because like, you know, there was a choice between you and this other person, and they chose the other person. So now. 
of course you kind of want to hear them say well it didn't work out with them you know what i mean like of course that's something that you want to hear I think the Ace of Swords in reverse could also just be the fact that like they didn't see right in the past. Like they did not see correctly in the past. They obviously see clearly now though. I think that's all that matters. Like they see clearly now, but they did it in the past. But why is Know Your Worth here? Because I feel like Know Your Worth is kind of warning you against something. Like nobody likes to be a second option, obviously. Are they like, overall, what's the message of like what Cancer should do with this person? Two of Cups came out. Overall, I think they're trying to say like, maybe you have so much love for this person that you're just like, you're always gonna be so good to them. And again, I feel like you should make it a bit of a challenge for them. Not like in a, again, a manipulative type of way, but in a way where it's like, this person did not, this person did not choose you initially, right? That's what I'm getting. Like, there was a choice to be made between probably you and this person. And now they're coming back around. And they feel stupid. And they should feel stupid. <laughs> like, in reality. But I think with the Two of Cups coming here is, like, what you should do. I feel like taking somebody back that, like, may, might have done this to you. If you're insecure, it might make you feel like, you know, I can't take this person back. Because, like, and that's all ego. That's what I'm getting. Like... It's ego. If Like, your ego might tell you, like, don't take this person back. They chose somebody else, like, when it was decision time. Like, I don't feel like third-party type shit, like, are, you know, cheating. I just feel like maybe, you know, with the lovers coming up here twice, they, you know, they met you, they met this person, they had a decision about dating, and they might have chosen this other person. Like, I don't feel any toxicity, by the way. So all I'm getting with this read is, like, just because you were to, like open your arms to this person or try to talk to this person or like maybe consider dating this person doesn't make your value less than i don't i feel like if you can't accept this person because of like what they did in the past and you're just trying to rub it in their face you know what i mean um i think you're kind of fooling yourself like i think you actually do care about this person and i think like you've always been kept keeping an eye on them and i think you actually do really like them and i think even after this mistake, you still have love for this person. So I don't think like you have to, you know, <laughs> um, I don't think you should tell them like, yeah, I've been stalking your life forever. And like, I see you have been honestly stalking them. And I think you have known like this breakup. I think you've seen the breakup and now they come back to you and I feel, or like, you know, they're starting to talk to you and you, you know all this, you know, and it's a little creepy, but um, I honestly think like, I think it's okay. They seem to have learned a lot with them coming up as the King of Swords. They're coming up as the Emperor, the King of Pentacles. They seem to have learned a lot. You're coming up as the Empress and they're coming up as the Emperor. So like at first they didn't see correctly and now they see they see you for what you really are. And that's all that really matters. Like in the present moment, what matters is the way they see you now. Like they see you as the Empress. They see that they made a mistake. And your advice is two of cups. Like if, if your advice is two of cups, I feel like that's like, go for it. So yeah, I feel like only if you're insecure will you feel like you can never be with this person again. So be careful with your ego, Cancer. That's what I'd say, be careful with your ego. Let's pull some advice. So yeah, you guys have Sarada Debbie, the Divine Mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. Exactly. Like, who are you to judge this person? You know what I mean? If you were put in a position that was similar, would you choose them? Or would you get confused as well? Or you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like there's no place in love for judgment. And I feel like if if you want to judge this person for not choosing you, Again, this is not a toxic person. This is not somebody who cheated on you. This is not somebody who like really like hurt you or broke your heart in that type of way. I just get like this person had an option and they might have talked to somebody else and they might have went in that direction. And now like, you know, that direction didn't work out for them. That path didn't work out for them. So now like they're talking to you and I feel or they want to come towards you. And I, I'm getting here with Sarati Devil. Like they're, they're saying the presence of love is the absence of judgment. Like there shouldn't be any judgment. 
in terms of like that this person chose wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I, I feel like that's not your place to be honest. And with introspection, this person has there's a lot of changes that have happened within this person. I think this relationship was actually good for them. This seems to have been a karmic. They're coming up as a true pair to the karmic as well. Do you know what I'm saying? And the karmic, you know, is a soulmate. So they had to learn something from this karmic. And probably better that they learned it from the karmic than to have learned it from you. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's very interesting. Like you guys are coming up emperor, empress, but they're coming up to a true pair with the with the karmic. <laughs> so be careful. Like, again, I just don't think that you should judge this person. And with hope and green Terra, the Buddha of enlightened action, my soul informs me of every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. Exactly. What does your heart compel you to do at this time? With the two of cups, I feel like a lot of you guys would want to be with this person. So like maybe your pride is going to get in the way. Maybe your ego is going to get in the way of that. But in reality, I feel like if, if pride and ego didn't exist and like no one would ever know, I feel like you wouldn't, you would take this person 100%. You would be with this person. So be careful, Cancer. That's what I'm getting. Like just be careful. I love you guys. I hope this helps. And I'll see you next time. Bye.